for our first operation here, we're simply going to spot drill or center drill this hole so that we can accurately locate the position for this hole. Now we've got a, a 9 30 seconds diameter drill and we're gonna just nice and gentle peck down through there. We don't want it to grab but it's pretty soft and it's just gonna cut nice and clean. There we go, we're all the way through. From here, we're gonna grab ourselves our countersink. And this guy likes to run closer to about 350 RPM. So if all we wanted to do was break our edge, we just come down and touch. If, however, we wanted to go deeper and countersink for one of these flathead fasteners, these are an 82 degree countersink and that's what this tool is shaped like. So as you can see here, that head is proud. So in order to solve that, just go a little bit deeper, check it again. Now if you're running a drill press, you'll do it more or less the way I'm doing it now. If you're running a manual milling machine as I am now, I can utilize the quill as a stop. I can lock this and I can move my z-axis up in very precise motion. I just gave that 20 thousandths of an inch. Look at that. Nice and smooth. That way if you have parts that stack or have to slide, nothing's going to hang up. It's just nice and smooth. 